Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips with InFocus Studios and welcome back to this week's webisode. I have a returning guest, Kevin Seifert with Kevin Seifert Photography. And Kevin, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me again, Jeff. Yeah, I think we're gonna continue on this theme where we talk about uh, corporate photography and how it can benefit a business. So why don't we get right into it and talk about uh, why would they invest in, corp um, I'm sorry, architectural photography? Okay, that's a, that's a good question. Um, so the first and obvious thing is that a building's not mobile. So architectural photography can highlight your building and highlight your, um, your, highlight your office space from afar. Um, it can also be used as a green screen background, um, and it helps people um, familiarize themselves. Let's take a doctor's office, for instance. What you might do is take uh, really nice architectural photographs of the outside of the building first. So when your new customer comes and they're, they're using um, Google Maps or navigation, they come up across your building and they say, oh, that's it. That's exactly what it looks like in the picture. Then they come inside and you might be on the third floor and it's a shared office space. You might show them the lobby entrance where the elevators are so they know where to, what that looks like. They're already more familiar with it and more comfortable. Then when they get up to your, root, to your office space, you can show them the waiting room. Now they're familiar with the waiting room. They know whether to expect, you know, if it's a doctor's office for kids, you, they might have a fish tank. So you might want to highlight the fish tank as well. So that there's a little bit of inf information there and show the reception desk as well. It's all about uh, making, it, making your property more visible and also familiarizing it for your, for your guests and visitors and hopefully clients and customers. So I, I'm thinking like a hotel. When I go out of town or I visit a uh, hotel website, I see a lot of visuals. Is that what, uh, how architectural photography is used? Yeah, oftentimes in a hotel you're going to see the first thing you'll see is the exterior of the, of the hotel. You're going to usually see that hotel during the day and also during the night because they don't know when their guests are going to arrive. They want their guests to be as comfortable as possible and familiar. You know, they might be coming from, might be a Myrtle Beach hotel and they're coming from, you know, Ohio. Who knows, wh who knows where they're coming from? So in that way, they want to show off the facility and make it comfortable. Then they're going to show, you're going to see pictures, let's say it's a beach hotel like Myrtle Beach. They're going to show a picture from the beach looking at the hotel. So you kind of get an idea of where, where, how close it is to the beach. But they're also going to take pictures of, from the hotel of the beach to display what, what their views are. That's going to help the, you as the consumer say, wow, that looks like a great view. Why look at other hotels? So that's an excellent question. You're also going to see lobby pictures and room pictures. They're going to highlight, they, most hotels have you know, maybe three to eight different room styles, so they're going to highlight those. Um, they're, if it's a hotel that has a lot of different suites um, and that's what, how they make their money, they're going to highlight, e they're going to show each room as well. But most of the time, you're just going to see three to four different types of rooms in there, and that makes you more comfortable when you fall asleep. You know what it, you know what your surroundings are before you get there. Right. Well, it certainly it certainly helps me. I know that. So okay. they're doing something right. <laughs> um, you mentioned green screen a little a little a while back. What is green screen, and how can a company benefit from utilizing uh, green screen photography? Okay, that's a good segue. So first, I'll tell you kind of a little bit about green screen. So um, it's known as chroma key photography. The technology's been around for a long time. It's what you see when the weatherman. Uh, the meteorologist does his broadcast. He's actually just filmed in front of either a blue screen or a green screen. Either one of those would be called chroma key. And they just replace the green or the blue with the background. And as I mentioned before, um, the, I said architectural photography can be used for green screen, and that would become your background. So now um, your corporate portraits and, and headshots, if you had a corporate portrait in front of a green screen, we could remove that and we could put that executive, they could have the boardroom in their background and that could be, that could be pitching toward the, um, toward the business to business side or they can be in the lobby and that could be pitching toward you know, making the client feel, the actual customer feel comfortable with them. So that's a, that's a good use of um, a green screen and hopefully that explains what green screen is. It's basically we're um, removing the green background and replacing it with a, a digital image and hopefully we're matching that up for perspective and all all the technolo technological um, I'm sorry all the technical aspects of photography okay so how else can a, um, a company benefit from or utilize green screen okay green screen is really fun um, so we're doing a lot of we're starting to do more and more event green screen photography and that's where something might somebody might have a theme to a party it could be a holiday party 
Um, it could be uh, a fundraiser, something like that. A lot of times it's a corporate sponsorship. So let's take a, a green screen event that, I, that I've done recently. Um, they, they did something and the, the theme of the party was the North Carolina coast. So what they did, I'll show you a couple pictures. So what we did was we had pictures of the lighthouses. So this is old Baldy. And then we just took a portrait and we used that background for the green screen. And we printed out these prints. These are five by seven prints. They, they, each of these people got a print in less, less than probably about two minutes um, of it. And we had some other ones. This is the Oak Island Lighthouse, one of my favorite lighthouses. There's a lot of cool history to the lighthouses. Um, and this is a different couple. But same picture, different person. So um, we can just transplant them like they're there. And they're in the, air, the comfortable air conditioning instead of being out in the August heat and humidity. Wow. So and they nice. get a print and they get a party favor. Cool. And you can see there's a logo on the bottom, bottom corner. So it, it's good for branding and viral marketing as well. Okay. And it seems like it's kind of interactive. And I mean, it probably, I mean, if you're doing it with a company, does it help promote uh, team, teamwork or? Yeah, definitely. So first, first you have a party favor and it's entertainment. So, you know, if it's, even if it's your employees, you know, that's going to, if you give them something, it doesn't have to be a very expensive thing. If it's something that's a memory, it's a memory maker, basically. So it can really improve, improve your uh, worker morale. You know, if they're going to your holiday party, you know, people are, feel obligated to go to these. So if you give them something that just let them have fun, they're going to enjoy it a lot. Um, it also creates a bonding experience. So, you know, if, if we're working in the same company, you and I, let's say we're at a, in an IT company, and you work in one department, I work in another, there's an opportunity to get those two people in the same picture and it creates a bonding experience between cross teams. So it improves the, the bonding and the teamwork and develops camaraderie for it. And it's a lot of fun. It's good, it's good it's for entertainment and it's also a party favor. Wow. Well, very good. Thank you for the information and uh, hopefully you all out there uh, enjoyed it. If you are interested in uh, architectural photography or green screen photography, photography for your live event, you can certainly contact Kevin and I'll have his website at the end of this video. But uh, Kevin and I have actually teamed up and you could uh, get the same service through my website, website as well. So feel free to leave any comments below. Feel free to share this if you want to. And until next time, take care.